In this video you will learn how to deploy your Angular application to production on the own VPS that we will rent on Ultahost without usage of any additional services like Netlify or Vercel. And the sponsor of this video is Ultahost. This is a server provider with quite low prices. As you can see here, the prices for shared hosting is much smaller than in competitors. And for this video, inside Ultahost we will use VPS Basic, which costs 550, and this is a reasonable price to get your own server where you can deploy any project. As you can see here, we are getting one CPU core, one gigabyte of RAM, and 30 gigabytes SSD. This is enough for several medium projects. And the main question that you for sure have is why we are not using services like Vercel or Netlify to deploy our Angular application. We can for sure do that, and yes, they have free tier, but there are lots of hidden costs inside. If your bandwidth is too high or you reach some limits, you need to pay quite a lot of money. If you rent your own server, yes, you must pay upfront some small amount of money per month, but you can configure anything inside. Yes, you need additional knowledge for that, but this knowledge will stay with you the whole life. This is a needed knowledge. Then really easy, you can deploy any project and make sure that you won't have any high costs. This is exactly what I'm doing for my own website. So why do we need VPS? We can configure anything on our own and it is relatively cheap. And here we will use Ultahost to deploy our Angular application on production. So the first thing that we must do, we can click here Order, Register a new account, pay for the server, and after that you will get to your profile. As you can see on the left, we have lots of different stuff that you can buy additionally, but here we bought just a service. This is why here is a service tab, and I have just a single service for 550, which is active. After ordering a server, you will get an email with new VPS server information. This is a really important email where inside we have our credentials to log in to our server. And here we are interested in the section SSH where we have IP address, username root and the password. This is why now here I can jump to the console and write SSH root add and IP address, hit enter and provide a password from an email. As you can see here, I am logged in in the server. So now we are inside our server and we want to install Nginx. And what is Nginx? This is a special tool which allows us to serve requests to our website. But before we will install Nginx, we want to update all packages on the server. So here we can write sudo apt get update. As you can see here, it will pull all new changes of the packages. After this we want to install Nginx, so here we can write sudo apt-get install Nginx and hit enter. The next thing that we want to do is to create a config for our website. This is why here I want to write cd to jump to the folder, and here will be etc, then Nginx and conf d. This is exactly a folder where inside Nginx we are storing configurations for all our website. Now here I am writing ls, we don't have any files inside. So we must create a file with our configuration, and typically we will write here a name of the domain that we want to use for our project. As this is an Angular project, I want to create here a file with the domain Angular app. So I will write here touch angular-app.com.conf. So as you can see, I used as a name angularapp.com.conf, this is important for Nginx. Now I am writing here ls, and as you can see that we have a new file, angularapp.com.conf. Now we want to update this file. In order to do that, we will use a nano editor inside the console, and we are providing here a name of our file. So nano angularapp.com.conf. This is how this editor looks like, and what I want to do here, I want to paste such code. So this is how typically our configuration for the website looks like. We have here a section server, which listens on 80 port, this is a default port of Nginx, and here we have a root, this is exactly from where it will read an HTML file, and it must be situated inside var www.angularapp.com HTML. So basically it means that we can store lots of different build websites inside var www and then the name of the website. 
here is the format of index file that may be used and here is our server name this is exactly our domain and for this project we are using domain angular-app.com or www.angularapp.com and here is allocation slash which actually means it will redirect all our requests to our index.html file doesn't really matter what is the route that we wrote now we must save this file this is why i'm hitting ctrl o and we're getting here file name to write is our name i'm hitting here enter and our file is saved now here i can write ctrl x and close nano now let's check that it was really changed we can write here cut and then angular app com conf and we will see the content of this file on the screen our next step is to check that our configuration for nginx is correct this is why here I will write sudo nginx minus t and as you can see we are getting a message that our configuration is ok and it was tested successfully. So we didn't do any mistakes in providing configuration and we can start now. So what we want to do, we want to jump inside var www. As you can see this folder exists and inside we have just a single folder html. But we wrote inside conf that we have here a folder for our angularapp.com. This is why here I want to create angular-app.com. And as you can see with the last, now we have a folder angularapp.com for our website. I want to jump inside this folder and create a new folder HTML. So now inside we have exactly the path like we wrote inside configuration. And the last thing that we need to do, we need to restart Nginx so our configuration that we created is applied. And in order to do that, we must write sudo system control restart Nginx. I'm hitting here enter and we don't have any output, which means Nginx was successfully restarted. In order to test that our Nginx works correctly, we can take an AP address of our server and just write it here in the browser. As you can see, I'm getting welcome to Nginx, which actually means when we're accessing our AP address, Nginx responds for us. And essentially what happens here is the default port is 80. As you can see, I'm writing 80 and it is hidden because this is a default port inside browser. And this is exactly the port that we wrote inside our configuration. Now I want to go out of our server because we don't need any further changes. What I want to do now inside my machine, not inside server, I want to write sudo, then some editor, for example nano, or you can use vim or whatever you prefer, slash etc slash host. And this will work if you are on Linux or macOS. And I will talk about Windows in a second. I'm hitting here enter and I'm typing the password. And here on the bottom we must write a new line. First of all we must provide an AP address of our server and secondly the name of our domain. And it will be angular-app.com. And here you for sure are asking what are we doing at all. The main point of this video is to show you how to deploy an Angular application. But I don't want to buy a real domain, it doesn't make any sense. Typically you will go to some registrator and buy a domain that you want and then inside this registrator you will provide an AP address of our server. Then when you try to access your domain your request will go to your server and then Nginx will show you something. But if we don't buy a domain what we can do inside etc host we can write how our own machine must resolve the request. In this case here we are saying when our domain is angularapp.com we want to redirect a user to this AP address. This is happening only for our local environment so you can't really share it in the internet. If you want to share your website then you either need to buy a domain or you need to share an AP address. So something which exists in the internet. Now here we are saving this file with Ctrl O and Ctrl X to close it. Now instead of this AP address I can write angularapp.com and as you can see the response is exactly the same because this domain simply goes to our AP address. This is exactly the same like buying a domain. If you later will buy a domain you can simply remove this line. And the last step that we need to do we need to build our Angular application locally and copy the build folder to our server. How can we do that? First of all we are writing npm run build and it will build my Angular application. 
As you can see inside my project, now I have a dist folder with app inside, and inside app I have an index.html. This is exactly all files that we want to deploy to our server, and it will be enough to render the whole project. Now, in order to deploy our files to production, we want to use an SCP command. So here I want to write scp-r, and here will be a path. In our case, it is dist app. So we want to use dist app and take all files inside app. So it is a star, and then we have root at my EP address of the server, then a colon, and the path to where I want to deploy it. It is slash var slash www angular app.com slash html. This is exactly a folder that we just created. I'm hitting here enter and we must provide the password. As you can see now is the output of all files which were deployed to that folder. Now when we are writing angularapp.com inside browser, we are seeing our Angular application which was deployed to production. Here we can create our to-dos, change them, edit, remove and everything that we need. Because it is a fully client application where we simply build our index.html, JavaScript and CSS. So this is how you can deploy any client application or framework to production in a matter of minutes. And if you want to learn more about Ultrahost or try it yourself, don't forget to check the link in the description under the video.